Hello everybody, welcome back to Kalinovka. This is episode number five. So, I've been quite busy. Um, I've been doing a few bits and pieces, uh, but that includes six contracts that I've done. So I've done five fertilising contracts, which was the screenshot that you saw. So we did uh, field... What was it? Field 49, that little one there. 50, 51, 52. I can't actually remember the fifth one. Um, but yeah, five fertilising contracts. And then we did a sorghum harvest on field 16. Um, so that is all now harvested. Just go over to the harvester. So yeah, that field's all all harvested. Um, we've got a full trailer load left to deliver, and then we've got 1,305 litres left in the in the harvester. So just go back over to the cell point. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah. So the only problem I've got with this contract is if you look here when you put the the details on it actually says i've done zero percent of the field and i've only delivered 65 percent um so it says i've got twenty three thousand liters left to deliver which i haven't got so i don't know whether that's just because i've come out of the game and saved it and come back in or what but we will find out i mean at the top there top of the screen it does say 96 percent complete so we'll just see what happens here um i'm not going to keep anything so yeah so that's that is going up so it's going to complete so if i stop it there 3,465 so we've actually got about four and a half 4,700 litres something like that so I could keep that um, but I've got nothing really to to do with it at the moment unless we've got some chickens I could feed it to the chickens Um. Yeah, actually, yeah, I think I'll do that. Keep what's keep what's in the trailer, keep what's left in there in the harvester, and then I think we'll get some get some chickens on the farm, and uh, then we've got some food for them. So, <coughs> excuse me, I have still got a bit of a bit of a cough there. Um, so the other bits I've been doing, I've tidied up the yard a little bit the farm um, I haven't done anything else with our fields yet so just going to send send him off with auto drive back to the farm and then I'll go through the other bits and pieces uh, da -da -da. now this will be interesting because I don't think this tractor on auto drive will get through the gate at the farmyard. I'm struggling to get through that gap. It just about gets through. So I was hoping I could delete a panel of the fence and then put in a double gate. But if I click on the fence there, it will just delete the whole fence all the way around. Which I don't want to do. Um... So yeah, we might have to look at that, but but yeah, so I've, I've put a few bits away. I've bought some lime ready for our fields. So these are 8,000 litre bags. Um, so we have 32,000 litres of lime. But as we all know, with precision farming, um, it doesn't go very far on these fields. But before that, we do need to do the soil samples. So I'm 
going to okay, purchase the soil some the soil information for field forty. And for field twenty nine. So, <clears throat> a pretty decent actually, sandy loam. I think loamy sand is the best, isn't it? So, yeah, sandy loam is quite decent. Um, but with our created field just here, obviously it comes up as a field because it was a plot of land. So if I go into precision farming, oh, it's letting me know. Oh, okay. Oh, that's good then. So I won't need to, I won't need to um, lease a soil sampler. I'll just purchase information. Excellent. That's better. Right. Okay. So, yeah. I think when you immediately, immediately after you plough a field out, it doesn't actually um, let you do that. But yeah. So what I do need to do then. I don't want these little stones. I know they're, it's only two little bits and I think there's a tiny bit over there. And to be honest, they would probably push back into the ground with a roller. But I'm going to lease a stone picker. So I have got one, got the tractor over here ready. So if we go into here, into stone pickers, um, where are we? Uh, oh, where's that then? It's not in any of them. So and front loader tools. Uh, unless I haven't loaded them into the save. Um just see if they're in here. I'm also having a slight issue with my Xbox controller. As you can see, it keeps um, scrolling too quick. Um, yeah, I, maybe I haven't installed them on this save. Right, bear with me a minute and I shall be back shortly. Right, so now if we go into stone pickers. There we go, as if nothing happened. So we do have this little pack here. I will just say these are the the only two mods I could find modded stone pickers that aren't to do with the Scorpio. Every other mod stone picker is a an edited version of the Scorpio with wider pickups or bigger capacities, stuff like that. Um, the only different stone pickers I could find were these. So this pack is a pack of two. Um, so basically that bit acts as a like a windrower for stones as far as I can see and then you pick them up with that but because we've only got those few stones I'm just going to buy this one um, it's got 2300 meter uh, 
litre capacity. It's 2.7 metres and I can put it on the front. Or I assume I can put it on the front three link of the little Z tour. So we're going to go for um, yeah, let's go for that colour and then black for the rams. Yeah, so about that four and a half. Oh, colour change is 1,100. Okay, right. Yeah, buy that. And then then we've got it really for when we whenever we need it. So the other thing I need is a mulcher for the uh, field 29. I'm going to mulch that before we lime it and seed it. Um so we've got them to there, but I really like these. The two Rostal Mash KKZ. So we've got a, a six meter and a nine meter. Um, these are fantastic mod mods. You can get mulches, rollers, and is there another configuration? I can't remember. Um, but yeah, you can definitely get mulches and rollers, and they're cheap. Um, good width. So I think we'll go for the six. Um, so I think we'll leave it red, red for a mulcher. And then if I do get a roller, which I will need to do actually, then I'll probably get the blue one or green for mulcher, uh, roller, sorry. So yeah, leave that like that. That's 8,000. So I think what we will do is oh, I know what I've done. So I've got the um store deliveries mod installed which I've used a couple of times. Um I'll just show you. So when I was taking the screenshots of the completed contracts, yeah, it has. I was stood just here. So on my keyboard, I was using the snipping tool, which is the, the Windows key, Shift and S. But I think I pressed Alt, Shift and S by accident, which is the default key bindings for store deliveries mod and I haven't figured out how to well I could just deactivate the mod but I haven't figured out how to um, reset the, the store delivery area so um, yeah that's why they've been delivered there which is fine um, I was going to do the mulching first because the, the field that needs mulching is around the corner from the shop but We'll do the stone picking first. Um, the IMT managed to get through the gate. So that's all good. So we can put that sorghum in the silo. And the harvester should be on its way. Somewhere. Uh, yes, that's not exactly what we wanted. Let's just help him. I hope we can get off that. Right, just for the ease of it. Nothing to see here. Hopefully, if I set them off again, we'll have no more problems. <sighs> right. OK. 
Okay. Might just turn out to be easier to do it myself. Give you one last chance. Let's see if you can get there. Um, right, we can complete that contract actually while we're here. Pay ten and a half for that. There is a load more fertilising contracts, so I think so loads and loads. Um, quite a few harvesting, but again, they're all root crop type things. There's a few sorghum. We've got the normal supply, and then we've got a couple of weeding. So this was the other thing I was going to say with animals. So look at that. Supply and transport, 230,000 litres of pig to the meat processing plant for a billion, basically. Um, 230,000 litres. When I did my testing, the cows were 27... Uh, I can't remember what it was now. Was it 27 litres or 72? Or just over a hundred, something like that, but it was it was very little. So can you imagine how many pigs that would take to fulfil that contract? Which is obviously why it's paying out so so much, but yeah. So that does lead me on to the cows. So I've got Angus in there, which give me nothing apart from meat for the food uh, meat processing plant and slurry. Now, we're a long way off doing anything with the meat processing plant. We're going to have to have a lot of cows um, to make it worthwhile. So I'm thinking I might sell these. So we've got 10 heifers, two calves and one bull. So I'm thinking I might sell them and replace them with Holstein, Holstein, so that at least we can get some milk producing while we're, until we're at the point where we can look at doing the meat processing. So I think that's something I'm going to be doing as well. Um, and then while I think of it as well, honey. So I did um place a honey pallet spawn point just here um i found the honey i'll go back into here so this is the honey production and the honey pallets spawn here apparently there's no i've got the hazard um markings on i've got the triggers on and there's nothing here to say that there would be pallets spawning here so I'm not sure what happens with that but it's also confused me a bit because when you place down when you go into the construction menu and place down a honey spawn point it um it doesn't it, it comes up and says you, you can only place one per, per farm, which is one per map, basically. Um, obviously, there's modded ones that are bigger, so you get more pallets in there, and etc. So I did place one down at the farm, and it never said anything. It let me place it. So that's why I thought there wasn't an existing pallet spawn point. But evidently, there is. So... I may as well get rid of that one because we don't need it. Or hmm, do we need that there for the pallets to spawn where they are spawning? I mean, I'm only going to get 99 euros back, so I may as well just leave it there, not harming anyone. When I've got the, the triggers turned off, it's it's not visible anyway, so. 
Auto, the Auto Drive is doing really well with everything except this harvester. This harvester is the one thing that keeps getting stuck and driving into things. I mean, it is wide, it is quite big, but yeah. Right, so we'll just leave that there for now. We'll tidy everything up at some point. So, yeah, we need to we need to get him back because the stuff's been spawned on our field. And um, so, yeah, I think that was oh, there was one other thing. I've decided. I think we're going to sell this trailer. I've used it once since the start of this series and that was to take the forklift up to the up to where the sawmill and everything is and then it's just been sat there doing nothing. The the truck itself, the the tractor unit that will come in handy at some point we can get various different trailers and etc. So we will keep that but but the low loader, I'm just not going to use it, I don't think. Everything that I've got can be driven. Um, so there's no real need for a low loader. We've got a small trailer at the moment for pallets and stuff like that. Big bags, etc. So, yeah. There's no point hanging on to it. Um, if we ever do need one again at any point, then we can always buy one. So if I repair and repaint that for a thousand. That's bumped the price up a tiny bit. And then we'll sell that. Okay, we've got a little bit of money back for that. Right, we'll leave the lorry here. And we will pick up the stone picker when we get back to the farm get those few stones and then get on with lining the, the fields. So I'll see you in a second. Right, so we just check on the map. Um, so we can see here, uh, where are we? So there's no stones on that because we haven't ploughed it. So this little bit here, um, it says stones there, but we haven't actually ploughed that. So there's those few tiny bits there and the two piles there. It's absolutely nothing on this field. So never actually used a, a bucket, stone, stone bucket. Let's just put the F1 menu on. So we lower it and turn it on. And that is it. Easy as that. So obviously if we had a field full of full of stones then it, it would take a while but luckily we don't. There we go, that's got all them. Right, so 188 litres. <laughs> so, yeah, might not have been worth doing it, but we will need to plough. We've got periodic ploughing on, so we will need to plough at various points. And it's cheap enough, so we may as well just keep it. So I'm just going to pop this down here, I think. Turn that off. Uh, right, I have sent the tracked MTZ 
up to field 29. Um, and we'll take the... Actually, we'll get the line... Get the line on these two fields down here. And then we can... Go up and mulch the other field and then line that. We'll just connect to this. So the other idea I've had is um, I want to get some greenhouses put in. Um, we haven't really got any any room over here. So I think I'm going to, once the, um, the forest, once we've done a bit more of the forestry, I think we might use those plots, put some greenhouses down, and then we can get the, uh, the juice, juice production and, um, what was the other one? the canned canned stuff um, not doing very well here let's just move that harvester this is why you should always have a tidy farmyard I think we're, we're joined up, up to the uh, head of trailer there oh dear Right, let's just fill it up and then we can move forward, get out of the way. Um yeah, it's not the not the canned food, that's for the beets and stuff like that. Fruit line company, I think it was called. Um is it this one? Yeah, fruit line company. So that would do what was it, the fruit juices, I think. Um Let's have a look. So tomato juice, strawberry juice, and carrot juice. Obviously we won't have carrots, but we can do strawberries and tomato. <clears throat> As I say, the the one of the aims of this series was to um explore the, the productions on the map, so I want to get want to get some of them started, get them up and running. And then the other one was the grain mill. Um, because we can do rye flour there, which we can then take to the bakery to do rye bread. And we've got some rye in the in the silo there, which I am going to... Um, I think one of these fields I'm going to do as, as a rye field. doesn't look like 20 metres, does it? No. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to put the rest of this into time-lapse, these few fields. So I shall see you when it's all done.
all the limings done on all three fields. We mulched um, field 29 up by the shop. Um, everything's now limed. pH value is perfect on all three. So, um, yeah, I am going to leave it here for this one. Um, as you can tell, my voice is starting to go. Um, I think it's all the babbling I did at the beginning of the video. So, um, yeah, apart from doing more time lapses, um, I think I'm going to end it. And then when we come back in the next one, get some crop seeded into all three fields I'm not sure whether I'm going to go for a direct drill or or not yet so if we don't then the field up by the shop will need to be cultivated first as well but we'll see what we we'll see in the next episode what we're going to do um, I may do a few contracts, fertilising contracts, just to get a bit of money in the bank. But, um, yeah. Obviously, these, when, you, when you're liming with uh, precision farming, it does sometimes miss the odd bit, like this bit in front of me. But I'll put the, put the field info on that still say perfect all around there so and it does show up on the, on the PDA is all done so yeah I'm sure you're all used to that but yeah so thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have please give the video a like and subscribe if you don't already and I shall see you in the next one Bye for now.